Welcome to the second episode of Not News Terra Edition. I'm Alicia Hope Ross, and here are this week's top stories. As we mentioned last week, the global economy is changing. Most evident is a worldwide initiative known as the Occupy Movement. The movement began this past summer when Canadian activist group Adbusters initiated a peaceful protest for September 17th in New York's financial district. The group feels the current economic instability can be blamed on big banks and multinational corporations taking over the democratic process. The protests have spread to over 1,500 cities, one of which is Calgary, where protesters have set up camp. This week, Not News talked to those calling themselves the 99%. This is part of a global movement, uh, and that's what's beautiful about it is it doesn't, it's not confined by any borders. Um, it's, it's one of the first times that something this large has ever happened on a global scale where people around the world are saying, we want to see a complete ideological change of how we do things in this system. Uh, that includes the well-being of the actual people in the system and not just wealth extraction uh, at, every, at every possible corner. I see change all around me. I've seen change in myself. I see change in you because you're here, because that's a change in media. I see change even in people who have come to this camp based on the idea of like basically being homeless and having nowhere to go, you know, and then come here and all of a sudden are educated and starting to educate themselves and starting to control their own addictions. You know, I see, I see changes even in, my, even in my parents. Like, that's big. And we're hitting critical mass soon. Like, people are talking. No matter how much negative attention the media throws at us, we're in every paper every day. And this is causing people to ask, why are these people here? Why won't they go away? Why do they care so much? This is not getting funny anymore. This is getting serious. I'm going to go down and talk to them and find out why they won't leave. And the more people that come down and talk to us, the more they actually get an idea of why we're here instead of just listening to the media. Whether it be collapse or revolution, change is inevitable. Not News will continue exploring this story in the weeks ahead. If you have any story ideas or submissions, contact us at news at notnews.tv. As we head into the holiday season, many shoppers looking for deals on electronics, especially computers, may be out of luck this year. Thailand, the second largest producer of computer hard drives in the world, continues to suffer following deadly flooding which occurred a few weeks ago. And now more than a third of Bangkok's industrial districts are under evacuation order. Western Digital and Seagate Technologies, which have plants in the country, both produce hard drives for Apple and Dell computers. Those factories are now closed and there's no forecast as to when those companies will be able to continue production. Before we go, we leave you with this week's community segment with Not News correspondent Joanne Beggs featuring Calgary artist Kylie Stiles. Hey, this is Not News TV right now. I am in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I believe far south, far, 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 far south. And uh, standing on a, which once was a dirt clump and now is filled with grass and Maybe snakes, I was thinking up here, which kind of freaked me out. I can, I can see downtown from way over here. It's beautiful out. And we're gonna go talk to Kylie Styles in some warehouse over here. So I'm excited, so check it out. We are here with Kylie Styles. What's up, Kylie? What's up, world? <laughs> so uh, right now, where are we? Right now we're at the headquarters of Revolution Entertainment here in Calgary. Uh, it's a DJ company slash limo company slash all around good customer service company. And uh, as you can see, we got some pretty crazy toys to play with around here. So uh, this is where I make my home during the day. Yeah, and I'd, I'd like to tell you that uh, I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, downtown is way, way over there. <laughs> but it's cool, it's different, it's cool. So we're in this crazy light show, and uh, I knew you were going to do the lasers, so I planned to uh, make it more like a rave. What oh, do you, you like? Sweet, yeah. Oh, I love to rave, yeah. So I brought, um, you want to hold the mic? Yeah, I'd love to. 
I brought some glow sticks. A surprise. No way. <laughs> Here. That's crazy. Oh, wait, no, I'm giving it to somebody that can't hold them all. <laughs> I know. I got right into Love it. Eggs. I was like, really? Okay. Crack that. So you're in a band. What, what's your band called? The band is called Black Sky Beach. And uh, how long have you guys been together? Uh, we've been together since uh, the beginning of this year. Uh, well, our old band, Satori Life, we were semi-successful in the local scene and uh, then one of our guys pawned off all of our equipment <gasps> and skipped town and oh, no. he's he's heavy these days karma karma is a biatch yeah like uh like karma made him heavy and i think he broke his arm too somewhere along the way and uh yeah i, I mean i'm not one to hold a grudge but i i hold a grudge a, a poor to rich story we started from scratch, from the very beginning, me and uh, Taylor Hockamel, my bandmate from Satori Life. And, uh, you know, we cut a few ties and we, uh, we grew our base. That's awesome, <laughs> that's awesome. Cause you, you could have just like been totally discouraged and just said, no, I'm done. We were quite discouraged, but we're never done. We don't get a thousand tries. It only took one more to realize. If you could be a farm animal, which one would you be and why? I've been told before I'm a pig and that's basically because the metaphor of human men being pigs to women. So I'll go with that, I guess. Uh, <laughs> can, you, can you make the sound of a pig? You asked me the right question there. Like I've been practicing that one for a few years. Really? That's oh, yeah. good. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> so he does it again. I like it. I didn't think you were going to get so enthused about you know that one. Uh, Some people like that stuff. <laughs> What's up next for your music and whatnot? Well, I uh, just want to let everybody know that I'm releasing a solo EP coming out uh, hopefully sometime early 2012. Um, just got some mixes back today, so we're working to, uh, you know, get that finished. And uh, I'm going to do a photo shoot actually here in the exact same place. And uh, basically in my photos, it's going to be me times five. So I'm going to superimpose myself five times wearing five different costumes. It's the most genius idea ever. The EP is going to be called One Short of a Six Pack. Five guys, five beers, five songs. So how do people uh, find you if they want to like check you out? You got like MySpace or... Uh, KylieStyles.com is the domain name that I just purchased. There's nothing on there yet. But MySpace.com slash KylieStyles, just check that out. Or Facebook.com slash KylieStyles. Yippee! He's too cool for school. Um, and you'll see us next time on NotNews.tv.